Earlier Monday, four-time America's Cup champion Dennis Conner sat down in studio with our resident sailing expert and KWSI meteorologist Dave Scott to discuss the Oracle Team Cup's loss. You know, I've lost that cup a couple times myself, and it's a really a horrible, horrible feeling. And even though they're really uh, uh, not Americans as we know, but it's still America flag on their boat. And so as an American, I'm disappointed to see them win. But, start, you know, Stars and Stripes, we had all American crew. There's no American crew on the Oracle boat. So from that standpoint, okay, we'll... we'll wish them well and they did a good job. Uh, weren't there some penalties occurred with some false starts in this race? Well, it's a lot different than when you and I were watching. Now if you start over the line early, which to Spittle, he didn't do the greatest job here, honestly. He got over the line a couple of times, unforced errors. But when that happens now under the new rules, all you have to do is uh, come back two boat lengths, let the other guy go ahead of you. So if you start early, you have a penalty. But instead of having to do a circle, which would be catastrophic, in these boats, the other boat would just, the race would be over. All they do is make you drop back two boat lengths, and then you get to go again. And the, so they, the other difference is the crew. Well, the crew on the New Zealand boat, they, they have to keep the hydraulic power up with their legs. And the other crew trying to keep the hydraulic power up with their arms. Like the traditional which way. Is but wave, well, which is tougher. Which is better. No legs are a lot stronger and a lot <laughs> more power. So the Kiwis got to drop on them in a lot of ways including the pedal power, much better idea. It turned out to be a real breakthrough because they had more hydraulic pressure all the time, steady, tack, jibe, control the sails. What does it mean for the, when, you, when, when New Zealand wins and other countries win, what does it mean really for us here in the United States? Well, it, it just means that uh, there's going to be a new America's Cup and anyone could challenge. So uh, the same folks that are uh, uh, putting up Soccer City, they could put that $100 million into the America's Cup, mm -hmm. and we could bring it right back here in San Diego, America's finest city. We have to take a deep breath, see when the event is going to be, find out what kind of boats, because that will determine the budget. And then we can, uh, then we can go to the, to the Dean Olivers and the uh, Mike McKinnons of the world to get the real money. Uh, meanwhile, back here in San Diego, Jared.